What is happening in South Africa at the moment is a clear indicator of the fact that we are in a country beset on change. And the ANC fears nothing more than change. ANC people that did this yesterday, led in the main by Sputla Ramukho, must account for this issue. Because it is nothing short of thuggery. Horus Sputla Watsoti has now made sure that ultimately today, they stole the people of Chwane's money and set up an event for Cossacks. It was taxpayers' money used to fund their political program. And if this is the new ANC that we must contend with, the ANC that's no longer Papa Nelson Mandela's ANC, the ANC that has now committed itself to saying what they are going to behave in this manner, let me remind them of the words of Tata Nelson Mandela when he said to them, if the ANC does to you what the apartheid government did to you, then do to the ANC what you did to the apartheid government. We are going to go and do door to door more than ever before. We are going to campaign like we have never campaigned before. Let it be a contest of ideas. Let us go into this township and sell our ideas and let the people buy the best idea because the best idea is the one that is really going to take this country forward. And the ANC has shown that clearly they don't have a plan going forward. We have one message for President Zuma today. We want to present the mayor for the people, not the mayor who's going to sit in an office and simply say, I was chosen to serve the party. We want to bring a mayor to serve the people of South Africa. Amanda. You and me, Democrats, deserve better. Utata when he was sentenced he was sentenced because he was convinced that south africa can be better he believed that south africa could be better he believed that you and me and the generations to come deserves better Swati grew up i mean from an informal settlement he knows exactly what it means to come from nothing to be a given opportunity so for him he really represents what the future of Tuani should be, which is anybody, no matter what background you come from, you can become a solid tomorrow. Let me tell you the change that is coming to this city. We are bringing change that brings jobs to this city. We are bringing change that makes service delivery a reality, not a pipe dream. We are bringing change that will make sure that officials that are lazy, that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, are fired. We are bringing change that will make sure that our little brothers and sisters can go into the CBD at all hours of the day and night because they will be feeling safe. Yeah. That is the change that we believe in. The fact that people are still subjected to drinking unhealthy and dirty water in places like Haman's Kral. The fact that Nyaupe is still ravaging our young people across the city. The fact that you're having young people loitering aimlessly across this city. That is something that is very close to my heart. Because I have been given an opportunity to make something out of my life, I want to make sure that every young person who's living in this city can experience what I have experienced in my life. It's not going to take a day, but I I know that if we all start putting a shoulder to the wheel, we will make sure that we can deliver to these young people. We can give them a future that all of us can be very proud of. The ANC knows they are under pressure, but they know we are coming for them. In 2016, the ANC will be down and the DA will come and take over. We must stand up in every corner, in every street and say reapili haribueli murahu because we are the ones 